Hello, YouTube fam. Welcome to Cherry's Hauls and More Vibes. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. As for me, I'm doing good. I'm just kind of tired. My grandson had his field day and I went and, you know, how it is with children. You know, they had lots of fun, though. They were, they had water balloons. They was racing. They had, they was hula hooping and jump roping and throwing balls and just, just had a blast of time. Yes, it was fun. I, I love to go to things like that to support my grandson. Yes, but no kids, you know how children are, but yes, it was fun. Okay, what I'm getting ready to do now is to unbox my Amazon products that I just received and also I have a little box that I, I opened it already so but it's from a different company it's called repot me and I'll show you what I got from there all right let me open this first Even though this Amazon and it came pretty fast, I kind of forgot still what I ordered. It's mainly plant stuff, I know that, because I'm trying to get my plant things together. So I will have a tea move haul for you all later once I receive that, but it may not be as much because I've been spending a lot on plants this month. So I have to budget myself. But let's see what's in this Amazon box. Okay, I'm gonna put it down here. Okay, first we have this neem oil, and this is for the plants to shine up those leaves. Looks like that. And keep some of them pissed off. Oh, and I have this, it's a little I don't know what they're calling it. Let's see. This right here. And what this is, it's like it's like a little mat that you put down when you're doing your plants. If you can see on that photo how they did it. Like when you're um, repotting your plants or propagating or whatever you're doing, you can put it on that mat so you won't get your counter or floor or wherever you're doing it messy, too messy. So that's what this is. And I'll link below the prices, you know, the items and the prices in the box below. Okay. Ooh, this got kind of hot out there, outside. Because this box just, this package just came. And this is uh, just coconut oil. And this is mainly for me. I just use this for... So sorry. I use this for like hair. And you can't use it for cooking. Some people use it for cooking. But if I use it for hair and beauty pro beauty purposes, I'm not going to use the same one for cooking. But you can use, you know, coconut oil for cooking. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. There it is. Yes, I'm using this for like hair and body you know, beauty product. That's what I'll be using it for. But you can use it for cooking. The unrefined coconut oil. Yeah, but I can tell it got kind of hot outside. Oh, y'all, this scary right here. It scared me just looking at the name. It's something called worm castings. And what they say this is for is like to keep like those, you know how those fungus, they call them fungus gnats, get in, I mean, they can get in your house, whether you have plants or not. But you know, I, now that I have plants, I really gotta be 
you know, I don't want to uh, blend eggs and stuff in the soil. So I just got this. Worm casting is supposed to help with that. I believe that's what this is. Wait a minute, y'all. No, no, no. That's not what this is for. <laughs> y'all can tell I ain't no gardener. Um, what this is for is for actually fertilizing. This is for fertilizing the plants. To help fertilize, to, you know, put it in your soil. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I'll strike what I said at first because, you know, I'm just getting into this. So, I'll be putting this in my plants when I first repot them before I just, because I, I think I should put this in there first before I just put an actual fertilizer. This just to, um, just fertilizing the plant, basically. Worm casting. What worm casting is, you gardeners know, and you people that do plants, you may know as well, but what this is, is just poop from worms. Oh, how gross is that? <laughs> I gotta make sure I got my gloves on. I don't like touching this kind of stuff, but anyway, that's what that is. Now, this one right here, the mosquito bits. This is for keeping those gnats away. It says quick kill mosquitoes. It kills mosquito lava and controls fungus gnat lava. Look at that. And you know, I don't have that many plants, so this is perfect size for a little small. A little small when it's um eight ounces. But they have it bigger, especially people who do who does gardening and all that type of stuff just to keep those pests away from them plants yes so that's what this one this is the one i was talking about at first but the up uh, that other one is for fertilizer and this one is to keep the pests away i'm learning y'all be look i be watching those youtube videos i didn't know it was so many gardeners and people that have indoor plants i didn't know so much out there on youtube but i've been watching them and i've been learning i've been learning about plants and plus doing my own research maybe googling and you know online and then i actually have a plant a little small plant book and i've just been reading about it i'm just i'm into that now it's so fun for me as a hobby and this is a set do not separate mm. oh i guess it's just telling the people who package this not to separate the items that's basically what it is it says keep away from small children the thin film may cling to the nose and mouth and prevent breathing this bag is not a toy this is a set do not separate so that's that's all it is it's just giving you the safety procedures for this. I'm going to repot my plants. Oh, by the way, you see my plants? This is not their permanent home. And here's the uh, grow, grow light. Grow light right here. Just... I turned it off, but it's not on now because it'll be shining in your faces if I had it on right now. But and it's different colors. It's like um white, warm light, purple, just various colors. I like it. And at night I'll put it on a purple, and during the day I'll put it on. But also I got something else to show y'all. But anyway, let's let me show you what's in this bag right here. Now, this is like a liquid fertilizer. And when I first repot the plants, I probably won't use this. I'll probably just wait for it to get just sort of used. I'll use the worm castings, and then I'll just probably put this in like later, like, you know, a month or so. This right here. And there's two of these. And that's why they were telling people to not separate it because they come as a set. You can get two, you can get two of these organic gardening and it's uh it says mixed with water 
feeds instantly, easy measure, no mess, house plant food. So it is for indoor plants, indoor house plant food. So, and it's uh, eight fluid ounces. It is. All right. Somebody about to get their gardening on, or I don't know. What do they call the people that just do house plants? And if I really like it, y'all, I may start doing, like, growing some herbs, grow my own herbs, such as basil, parsley, and mint. And, mm -hmm. I may do that, the indoor type gardening stuff. Okay, lastly in the box is this right here. And what this is, is like a marble, like wallpaper. I don't know if you can see the detail of it. But it have like it's like a marble print. Can you see it? I want you all to see it. It's kind of subtle marble print. And what I'm gonna do with this paper, let me show you what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna turn y'all around just a little. If you look over here to my left, I have a shelf shelves right here is shelves is like three shelves and i'll be keeping my plants on here it's next to a window so it'll work out perfectly it's a window over there can you see the window actually you may see my um my ring light is in a way but it's a window over there on that side but the plant's going to sit over there. And I'm going to put this right here on this, on the shelf to, you know, just make it look a little cuter. Because I also use this, but I think the colors was a little bit, not as, let's take this out. I think it was a little bit more pronounced last time. I put this on my organizer. As well, a little marble. You may be able to even see it better. Yeah, it's just a real subtle marble look. And I'll put this on that, on those shelves, and put my plants on there. Yes, I'm so excited. I can't hide it. I'm about to lose, lose control. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Oh. Also, I said I was going to show you all my, what came in my little box. And this is from, I ordered this online and it's a place called Repot Me. And it's soil. That's what it is. It's like, they gave me this little gift right here. It's like a little, I guess a thing for you to put, I don't know, dates or something on here potted and bloomed yeah or dates and then it's got a little cute little butterfly thing right here i guess that's for if you have some type of plant and you need to maybe you know plants that you want to kind of stand up or something i that's what i'm assuming i'm just making them my own stuff <laughs> i'm assuming that's what it is i can't think of what else the clip is for or just to make it look more beautiful around your plant I, Y'all. Okay. First in here is three packets. And first in here in the repot me is one that's called Pothos Imperial Potting Soil. And it's like for beginners, they say. It's a little small bag. And you know, my plants don't need to be in nothing too big because they say you don't want to repot it in something too much bigger than what it is already in because, you know, that can kind of kill the plant. But, and I'm not trying to do that. So, this is for my pothos, the Marble Queen pothos, my queenie. That's what this one is for, basically. And I want more plants. Hopefully my daughter's getting some for Mother's Day. I want some more. I'm addicted. I got three plants. I can take each daughter, give me one, and I have six. Well, anyway, the next one is for cactus and succulent. I don't have any cactus. 
or succulents as of now. But I heard that by doing some of the research and everything, you could mix this with your regular soil. So it, so it can drain really good. It just, your know, plants don't like to sit. And so I'm going to have to hurry up and replant my plants because they pretty much sit in wet soil. They don't, a lot of plants don't like to do that. They like, you just water them and drain it through the holes. Because I think two of these, this one here, can you see where I'm pointing? My ficus elastica or ruby. I think she's in a plant, in a pot that does not drain. I think I gotta check it out when I get rid of this pot, but I don't think it drains. It's just, you know, they had it. Let me move the box so you can see better. They had it for just, you know, for just to be to make it beautiful. That that particular pot, a pretty pot for her. And I don't know. I think she's staying too wet because it seems like her leaves, her bottom leaves are just drooping and dropping off. So. Yes, we got to get these. We got to get her repotted because she in her soil. I put my finger in it. It's wet. It's wet, and I I hadn't watered this since I got it, and it's been a week or so. You know, a week or two or so, and she's <clears throat> excuse me. She's still wet, so mm -mm, she don't. They say these. I read that these particular plants don't, they're called rubble trees. Like they are prone to root rot. So I don't want her roots to rot, so I gotta get her replanted, you know. And here, you know, Queenie, my uh, marble queen pothos, she's she's in a draining pot, so that's good. So I just recently watered her because she was dry, so I watered her and she liked that. So she's growing really good. So no issue with her, but still the pot is so small and her roots are starting to kind of come out the bottom so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and repot her and over there to the far left is my first plant you know that is the um Diffenbachia Seguin I did a video on her on this particular plant can cane that's what I named her but short name for her is dumb cane but mine is can cane Ain't nothing dumb about her. <laughs> but anyway, and I just explain why they call this particular plant that she needs to be, uh, be repotted because she's not in a draining pot either. So she's just wet. I mean, well, I stuck my finger down in the soil and she's not, she was dry. So I just went on, still gave her some water. But her pot does not drain. So that's why I mainly got to replant these because. The pots is, are not draining. Only this one drain, but it's so small and she's growing so good. So I'm gonna get her a, probably a little bit bigger pot. So yes, yes on that. So, but they were saying that this particular soil is good for like to some people say they might put part of this in in the soil, the regular soil, so it can um so the plant won't it, it won't stay just soaking wet. It'll drain faster. So I don't know, y'all. I don't know, but I'm just gonna. Hopefully, I do the best. I'm, I'm not trying to kill the plants. I have had plants in the past, and they didn't survive. They didn't survive with me. Actually, I plants and flowers. So maybe somebody gave me, or maybe I purchased. I'll put them somewhere and just forget about them. And they just didn't get water. They did not get water. I didn't. But I'm doing good now. Yes. So I'm making up for that, but only one survived for a long time. I had this plant, and it was a it was a uh, pothos too, but it was it was the golden pothos because those plants can survive for a while. But I just had like one leaf, and it was still hanging on. I didn't I forget about it. I didn't water it. It just it just hung on hung in there. But anyway, I don't I no longer have it though. Um, so yes, I'm just gonna mix a little of this because I think it's like bark and they call it stuff pearl, pearlite or something in this mixture. And I'm just gonna sort of mix it with the soil. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with this. And if I do get a cactus and, or a succulent, then I already have this. Okay, let's move on. And there's one more. And these, 
do they have a size? I mean, the ounces. These are really small, though. Extremely small. From uh, Repot Me. And see, they do the, they mix the, mix it up themselves. Selves. Repot Me. They mix, have a mixture already ready, so you ain't trying to mix the things. Because some people miss, like, they say, I put a certain percentage of this and a certain percentage of that. And, yeah. You could just straight use these soils, but I'm still I'm still gonna mix mine a little bit because these are kind of small too. But anyway, this is for uh houseplant and tropical. So these mainly would be for for tropical plants. This mainly would be for the ficus elastica. This would be for ruby, and also for the diffiobankia candy cane over there. So and then I probably just put a little bit of that. That um. Succulent, you know, for and mix with this a little bit of it. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. Hopefully, hopefully they survive. I'll keep y'all informed on how my plants are doing. And I also have a big bag of soil that I got from um um Ollie's Ollie's Bargain Outlet. So I got plenty of soil. I may have to buy like some more of the pure light auto. I think they call it pumice or something like that. You know. I'm learning. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not done that. And hit the notification bell. Please feel free to leave comments. And I really do appreciate you so much. Thank you for everything that you do. And take care now. Bye. Yes. Y'all check out my new plant, my early Mother Day's, Mother's Day gift from my daughter Janae. And also check out the shelf. I put the wallpaper on there, the marble wallpaper. Doesn't it look nice? Thank you.